Well, earlier today, the Vatican held a conference addressing ways to end child labor. Eradicating child labor, building a better future, examine ways to end the practice of forcing children to work often for little or no money. According to the Holy See, more than 160 million children around the world are the victims of forced labor. Joining us now from Rome is Marta Petrohas, coordinator of the section Faith and Development for the Dicastery for Promoting Integral Human Development. Marta, thank you so much for your time today. Wonderful to see you. Uh, can you tell us more about the conference and also what Pope Francis had to say to the participants? Thank you so much, uh, Tracy. This is a privilege for me to be here with all of you and to share the, the good news that we have uh, already lived today here in Rome. We have uh, organized this uh, webinar, this conference on eradicating child labor in coordination with the FAO and the Holy See uh, Permanent Observer to the to the bodies of the of the FAO. And um, the first part of the day, we have started with the audience with the Pope, and he has uh, highlighted the, the idea of the importance of combating, eradicating child labor because of the damage uh, of the of the labor do for the for the children. No? The children cannot be uh, prevented from from dreaming, from playing, for all the things that the children must uh, must do in a normal life. No, when a children is damaged, the adult is damaged, and the society in general is damaged. And Marta, I'm curious. Uh, you know, I, I'm wondering uh, why the progress towards the elimination of child labor has stalled for the first time in about 20 years. Why do you think that is, and, and what led to the reversal of that downward trend? Well, the trend is increasing because of uh, the poverty, the inequalities, and the vulnerability of the families. The drama of the child labor start with the family, no? with the family suffering, with the families struggling, the children are strugg struggling. And with the pandemic, the last two years, the, the impact has been very, very, very serious no? in some of the most vulnerable societies and in the, in the countries that have suffered more the, the impact of the, of the pandemic, because they don't have social protection policies, they don't have safety nets, they don't have other measures to to, to defend no? and to, or to, to be uh, protected from the, from the poverty or vulnerability. So the, the struggling of the family has put the children in danger. And these children, especially the girls also, have suffered violence, have suffered poverty, and has also put in, into the trafficking, exploitation, and slavery. Marta, not a whole lot of time left, but wondering, could you talk to us about how child labor actually impacts children's dignity? Yes, of course. It's what the, the Pope uh, also has emphasized this, this morning, no? because when the children cannot uh, enjoy the fundamental rights, their dignity is very, is very damaged. No? They are robbed. They are stealed from the, from, from not only from playing, dreaming, but also from the very, very basic, like access to health, access to education, access to nutrition, to, to like, um, and a, for us would be a normal life, but for them it's a dreaming of life. No, so we really uh, need to take into account that for us adults, when we suffer. We have other other mechanisms to defend us, but the children don't have. They are very vulnerable. They need the parents. They need the caregivers. For instance, with the pandemic, five million children have lost uh, a parent or a care or a caregiver. So they are really in, in danger because of they have lost their reference, and and not only for 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 losing the reference, but also because they they cannot enjoy the. The, 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 the fundamental rights. Marta, thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Marta Petrahaus, coordinator of the section Faith and Development for the Dicastery for Promoting Integral Human Development. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you.